Hey everyone, uh, welcome back again. Uh, so this is the third part of the uh, tutorials related to tracking, or well, theater tracking. So in this tutorial I'm going to talk about uh, such functions like a move in dark and mark you. So in some other consoles you may find it as a move in black uh, or something similar, uh, but uh, in Magic it's called move in dark. So how it works and also what's the differences between move in dark and also mark you. Okay, so let's go first through uh, moving dark. So I've created a basic Q stack with just four steps and I just made it simple so you will be able to see what's happening. So I'll run the first Q, the fixtures go in, the spots go in, 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 in red. I know you're probably sick and tired of seeing the same things I've done, but it's much simpler this way. Then I press the next Q. So one thing I want you to, to pay attention to. So I've launched the second queue and you can see this is the default position of the beams that are on my circular spot, uh, on a circular truss and this one's in yellow. So when I press go next, in my next queue I've released them because I switched off the tracking but don't worry about this and you've seen how the these fixtures, uh, the, the washers, slowly faded into the new position. Okay, I'll go back to the second step again so you will be able to see it again. So I press uh, go to Q2. Of course I could press the pause again but I'm just showing you the other way. So I press go and you will see how my washers go in a blue color fade into the new position. When I press go, look at those beams as well. They change the color and then they go to the new position. So while it's okay what I see now, but in reality, I would like to actually preload those steps in advance. So when I press go, I want the fixtures already be in the right position with the right gobo, with the right uh, color selected. And when I press go, it only fades into the right place. So that means you would like the steps to be preloaded. So this is how you can do. This is where the moving dark will be handy. So you can release the Q stack, then you triple click on your S button to open the Q stack settings. In advanced column, you will find the option that says move when dark. So when you select it and you press enter, just to make it as yes. Now let's see how it works. And you launch the Q stack by pressing go. The first queue is loaded. Now I press go. So far so good, it's the very same thing. But you will not see, but in the background, all my washes actually went and loaded into the right space. So when I press go, my wash is already there. Now in the background, if you pay attention, you will see the fixtures now move to the right position as well. So now when I press go, you've seen these fixtures going in the right positions, but these fixtures already turned on. Uh, they were already in the right place, in the right, uh, with the right color, with the right position, and all I did, all I did it, it just faded in. Okay, so this, so what it does is, the Magic U looks at the fixtures, and if you, if if it looks into the fixtures here, it sees that in my step number three. I have the washers and they are not used in a step number two. That means they are not used step number two. They can be automatically preloaded in the right place within three seconds and they will only wait when you press go and they will be loaded. Again, uh, they, will only def they will be only faded in. Same thing goes to the to the step number four where the beams are not in use in the step number three they were only using the step number two so as soon as the step number two finishes and it goes to step number three the fixtures are going to be preloaded for the beams as well so by default the moving dark time moving uh, move when dark time is actually three seconds and as of one of the uh, recent beta updates we actually added the the moving dark uh, move when dark option as you can actually select uh, the default you can change the default time of three seconds you can find it in setup if you go look at the queue storage, you will see default default mark queue when in dark uh, moving when in dark three seconds. So if you change here to longer, that means it will take longer time to load it in. 
So this is when it comes to move when dark. Again, this is this applies to the whole queue stack. You cannot select, pick and choose which queue you would like to preload and which queue you do not want to preload. And if you want to preload it and you want to specify which queues you would like to preload, then you have to turn off the moving when dark to no and you can actually release it and then you can use the next function that I'll be talking to you about it's called uh, mark queue okay how the mark queue works it's pre pretty simple you select which queue you would like to get preloaded let's say queue number three so I've selected my queue number three and you press the button called mark queue when you click the mark queue it creates a separate step just before the one that you've selected and it called it mark queue and it made it as a weight as a mark and it already selects the timing three seconds but in reality I can actually make it as six seconds for example in that case the mark queue only affects the next queue that follows that so this will preload the step number three I'm talking about washers in the right position but it will have no effect to the step number four with the beams let's test it so I will launch my Q stack and I press go and I will show it to you here then I press go again and you can see the spots the washers here will actually probably you cannot see the washers here will actually move to the right position in six seconds uh, you can probably barely see them in dark and when they finish you'll press go and you're gonna see the fixtures are in the right place with the right color and the right position and only needed to fade in so the next step if you press go again you will see that the beams will move they will fade in as per normal because I have not applied mark Q so again using this button you can actually press the, again you select the queue you would like to preload you press mark queue and it creates a separate queue for that so when you do this you will be able to actually see because it says as a mark and the following queue will be loaded and here you can specify how long you want it to load in the in the background it's quite useful when you have a lot of fixtures and you have them on a truss and you don't want like let's say 30 40 fixtures to rush in to the new uh, to the new position and you want it to go in a bit more silent silent you can actually specify here to be as the your custom time again hope it was useful uh, don't forget to subscribe to my video put the likes and you can always read the manual because everything is described there as well thank you very much have a lovely day bye bye